Hello everyone, my name is Bean Sprout, and today we're going to be going over how to mod Doom Eternal. Now, I've made two tutorials on this before, but they are both outdated, so I'm going to try and go over everything that I can. Most stuff now is included with the basic mod injector, but if you are having issues with textures, then please go download the Eternal Hatcher. Though, I think there's a low chance you'll have to do that, because I think that they have included Eternal Patcher into the mod injector now. So, the first step that you'll want to do is make sure that you can get onto the files on whatever platform you're playing on. And by platform, I mean Steam, Xbox app, or Bethesda Launcher. Now that you know that you can get into your files, which is not a very hard thing to do, I want you to go to the link in the description to either one of two modding discords. This will either be the 2016 plus modding discord, or the Doom Eternal modding hub. It doesn't really matter which one you go to, I'd recommend being in both, but the Doom Eternal modding hub is a brilliant discord that I'd really recommend. On the Doom Eternal modding hub, go to the channel called Mod Injector. Now, depending on your if you're playing on Windows or Linux, the Linux one will be the shell file, the Windows Steam Bethesda Launcher one, that will be the top one, and there'll be links to a Discord file or the Google Drive. Either of these will be what you'll need. Now, if you're playing through Game Pass on PC, then just download the Dumper Mod Injector. There's been issues with getting mods on Doom Eternal for Game Pass. I tried to do it for a friend, and it, it, I can't because everything's not there. But I'm pretty sure with the Dumper Mod Injector, you can do that now. With the 2016 Plus Modding Discord, go to Eternal Tools, download either Mod Injector, Mod Injector Shell, or Dumper, depending on your platform. Now that you've done that, open up the files for whatever platform you use to play Doom Eternal, and also the Mod Injector, which you will need to open as well. So, now that you have both of your folders open, I would like you to enter the base folder on the Mod Injectors folder. All of this stuff you see here is stuff that you're going to copy, then go into base on Doom Eternal, and paste it into here. I'm not going to do it because I, I have already done that, but now that you have copy and pasted the base folder stuff into Eternal's base folder, what I want you to do is all of this Mod Injector stuff here, I want you to copy that and also paste that into Eternal's normal folder. Not in the base, just in its ordinary file. Now either make or import the folder called mods with a capital M into Eternal's folder and that's where you will store your mods. This version of Doom Eternal's mod injector does include the Eternal patcher but if you somehow don't have any of your texture mods working, go and install the Eternal Patcher off of Nexus Mods, which will be linked in the description. Just so that I can demonstrate how this works, I'm going to download the Corrosion Slaughter map and show you how you install the mod. So pretty much all of the Doom Eternal mods you will find on Nexus Mods, but these can also be found on the modding discords in select channels. Now that you have your mod, I want you to go into the mods folder, and I want you to just drag your mod into the mods folder. Now, go back to the game's normal file, and run the mod injector. It will look like this. It may ask you a few questions when it starts to boot up, but don't worry about that. And if you do go to run it, and Windows tries to stop you, just run it anyway. It's completely safe, and I've done this probably hundreds of times. Depending on how many mods you're installing, this may take a while. And well, as you can see, let's just go and load up the Corrosion Slaughter map. And here we are in the Corrosion Slaughter map. And well, there you go. That was the definitive guide on how to mod Doom Eternal. I may or may not make more of these in future when new injectors come out. And on that same point, do be wary that when you go to play the game and there's a new update for the game, please verify and scan your files and remove any mods that you have installed. Then do the update. Once the update's done, go and reinstall the new version of the mod injector. If there isn't a new version of the injector out by the time that you've updated, then you're going to have to go without any mods for a bit. But usually the injectors are done very fast, at least for the ordinary Windows injector. But, well, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like, and if you really, really enjoyed it, then consider subscribing. And if you found it helpful, leave me a comment. 
Also, if you have any issues with installing the mods, also leave me a comment, and I'll try and help out to the best of my ability. There is some things that I will have absolutely no clue how to fix, and if there is stuff that I can't help you with, then please go and ask someone in either of the modding discords. I'm sure there'll be someone in there who can help you. I've also got a merch store and a Twitter and a Discord. But other than that, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.